Hello everyone and happy new year because this is like the first tutorial I'm making in 2025. Okay, so uh, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to make like this orange slice. So the primary thing is to make a full texture for it in COPS and then also make like a, you know, a simple procedural slice that you can, you know, that you can build. Okay. Okay, so to get started, uh, I'll start off by making the texture first and then we'll model the the actual slice. Okay, so I'll just create like a new cop network. I'll make it in the old file only. So it's just, you know, easy for me to refer as well. Okay, so I'll just take a cop network and I'll turn this off and we'll call it cops orange. Okay, uh, wrong spelling. Okay, so the first thing we want is uh, we want to make the basic, you know, the internal slices. So to do that, we're going to create our own, uh, we'll, we'll need like a radial uh, UV map. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to take, a, I'm going to take a ramp. So we'll take, we'll need two ramps. Okay, the first one will be uh, radial and then the second one will be concentric. And this will give me like a, a radial uh, UV map. Uh, the only thing we need to do with this is uh, the the ramp goes from zero to one, but the UV map in the within COPS goes from minus one to plus one. So we'll just have to remap these. Okay, so just take these, plug this into a remap, and then just get the out to minus one. Yeah. So we'll just do like Control C, Control V. And then we combine these together. So just take a join. So it'll take a channel join, set this to UV and just plug in like the first and the second. Okay. Now to see that this is working, what you'll need is something called as a UV sample. So just type in sample and you'll get something called UV sample. So the UVs go in here and then you take on any texture that you want. So in this case, I'll just take a fractal noise. I will set this to, uh, let's set this to Whirly F2, F1, right? So we have this, I will lower the roughness a lot and we lower the center. So it's more darker and increase the contrast and then just plug this into the texture. So what you should get is this. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, let's just like, we would, we need it stretching outwards from the center. So I'll just you know, adjust the size, we'll come to X, Y, Z and I'll just, uh, yeah, so we can kind of make it like this. Yeah. So lower the X, increase the Y. See, so you'll get like, you know, stretchy stuff like this. You can also adjust the, the ramp. So if you want more repetitions, you can increase the number of cycles. I'll set this to, uh, we can set this to a mirror or a repeat. Let's say we'll go to about three. And what I can also do is if, if I want it to sort of repeat properly or like just mirror, uh, you can just make a few adjustments. So I can take this in the middle and take this down. So see, so you'll get, you know, something like this. And we can adjust this a bit more. This has gone a bit too much now. So I can just lower this. Yeah. So this can be, you know, the, you know, the little pieces inside each slice. You know, and you can sort of adjust this. Yeah. Okay. So this is good. So this is the basic, you know, design that you want. Uh, what we can do with this is, uh, we can also give it slight bit of rounding. So what you can do is you can try to do a blur here. Okay. So like blur it a little bit. And then, uh, you can take a remap and just adjust that. So, See, so if you increase it, see, now it's like slightly more rounded. So it looks a little better. Yeah, perfect. So this is good. Okay. So this is fine. Now we also want to create this, uh, the actual sort of slices. So this is not like hundred percent photorealistic, but it should give you enough to just sort of, you know, build up a system that you can then make it more photorealistic. Okay. So what I can do is I can take a SDF shape. And all I want is, uh, we'll keep it to rectangle and make it, uh, we'll make this small and this, and just give it some rounding. 
and now uh, we can do the same thing so we'll need another UV sample so this comes in here and we'll do uh, SDF to mono and that goes in there and this should give me see we get slices okay so what what I need is I need this to be smaller so I'll just take this in here and this and then just take the translate and you can kind of just move it in there you go so I'll make this big enough you can also make flowers like this if you want to you know like it's a good enough technique to do a lot of things so this defines like from here is where we define how many do we want you know like I can make it four or five or whatever so you can just define it from here so I think four is good okay so this is nice so now I can just uh, mix these together okay so we can just take a multiply and I can just you know like multiply these two and that's what you get you get like you know your slices in there but we can do a few things before that so let's do one thing before we do this uh, let me just give it some color so I can just take uh, you can take a mono to RGB that will allow me to give it colors uh, let me do one thing I'm just going to go and pick up the colors I set up over there so I can just come in here and yeah there you go those are my colors so I can just do control C and like come back here press control B and plug this in there and there you go see so you have like you know basic colors I can just adjust this a bit more if I want to and then we can multiply these or actually let's do one thing let's uh, we'll, we'll also need a background right so let's just take a, a ramp RGB this will be my background color so I can just take this let's set this to uh, concentric and now let's do a blend so this is the background that's the foreground and this will be the mask and we will get this see there you go now we can also apply like a little bit of shading on the border so what I can do is uh, let me just do a control C control V here I will set this to outline okay. or actually no yeah set this to onion skin and we can do a smooth here so it kind of just blurs a little and you know duplicate this and plug that in so we'll get that okay and I'll do a we'll do a remap so I just need to flip it and let's do a multiply and see what we get so we can do a multiply so background and foreground yeah so you'll get this except I think it needs to be a little bit better so let me just take the smooth and increase that okay and uh, let's change this to overlay or soft light yeah that that looks nice uh, whatever you don't want should to affect make it 0.5 so this one will make it 0 0.5 see so there you go okay but let's also do one thing uh, I want to sort of mask it out let's do one let's let's plug this in here yeah there you go see so now it's only affecting you know that so there you go so that's that's our basic you know uh, orange slice now let's also create the the outer texture you know like if I look at this you have like the outside texture which isn't anything complicated but uh, we'll just make that as well okay so like I'll come in here I'll take a null and I'll call it uh, out orange slice and then uh, for this what I'll just do is I'll just take a fractal noise and I'm going to set it to uh, let's set it to worldly and I'll just adjust the contrast make it really tiny we can also lower the roughness and now uh, let's just take a mono to RGB and I can just give it some colors you know so I can just take this and make it uh, 
Or actually, let me just pick up the colors from there. You know, so that way I don't have to guess. Wait. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so Control C, and then come in here and Control V. Yeah, so we can just plug this in here, and yeah, there you go. You know, you have something. Let's just make it slightly darker. Yeah, and I can also try to do a remap. Let me just try to do a remap here. So I can just make the points a little more visible. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And then uh, I can just give it another ramp. So we'll do a ramp. Uh, let's do RGB. I'll keep this horizontal. And this can just be, we'll do a blend and then adjust it. So I'll just take a blend here. I'll set this to soft light and just adjust it. And I'll take a null and I will set this to, we'll call it out orange skin. All right, so that's good enough. So we have our basic uh, orange slice and then uh, we have the skin. Now uh, we'll make a few additions to this, but uh, let's map it to something and then we can make the adjustments. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take a circle. So I have this, okay. So I, ju I just have the basic circle. I'll do control C control. I'll copy this much. I'll explain what is needed here. So I have like a basic circle here, which is, uh, you know, like one in scale. I'll get rid of this. So delete channel, yeah. And I have a knife so because I want to cut it in half and then bend it. Okay, and then I just have a simple UV project. So this gives me, you know, what I want. Okay, now uh, what I need to do is let's just give it a material. So we'll take a cop, we'll take a cop material preview. Yeah, and here I'll set this to cop and I want to pick up the cop orange orange slice. So we get this. So this is good, except uh, what I want is, we also want like an orange border, you know, because like the orange skin is there. So we want like a, a border here. So I'm just going to come in here. Let's just, let's keep this. Yeah, so let's jump in there. And what I want to do is, let me just take another, let's take a ramp and we'll call it, uh, we'll take a RGB. I'll set this to uh, concentric and we want to blend it with this. So let's take a multiply and let me just plug this in. Yeah, okay. So this will be white and I can just take that. Yeah, just bring it in till, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so that's good enough. You can also do other things on top of this, like you can distort it a little bit and you know, give it a little bit of noise on the edges. You can do stuff like that. Okay, so just to make it a bit more realistic, you know, like if I, I can take a distort. Let me just see if, you know, if that looks nice. And I can take a fractal noise and make it uh, like UV and plug it into the noise here and just increase that. Yeah. So make a few changes like take the contra sorry take take the center to zero there you go yeah that's a bit too much but we can sort of just adjust that so you can do stuff like this you know so it doesn't look completely uniform so you can do things like that okay so this is fine so this is you know the basic that we need so the next step is to model the actual slice all right, so we finished building the texture. So now let's make the actual orange slice. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just get rid of this temporarily. And what I want to do is I want to bend this, right? So I'll take a bend. Let's just press B till we come to, yeah, we'll just take this. Okay, except the capture direction should be one and the origin should be zero. And the capture length will also be zero. So if we bend this, it'll just, you know, it'll do that. Okay, so this is good. So now what I want to do is uh, let's take another circle. We'll give it say, let's keep it to 20, uh, let's keep it to 12 sides for now. I'll do open arc and make it uh, 180. So it's like this. 
and now uh, we'll take a revolve and the revolve will be in the x direction so 1 and 0 and open arc and let's make this 180 okay so it's like this so what we have is let's say if we keep this to 0 now what I need to do is that as we control like this thing to make it smaller this should also bend with that so then we can sort of like fuse these together so uh, so let's say if I take this to maybe like 30 degrees or let's do 60 degrees so then this has to go up to about 120 okay so the maths that we'll have to do for this is I'll take this, I'll do copy parameter, uh, paste relative reference, and we can subtract like 180 from this. So we'll do 180 minus 60 will give me 120. And so now if I move this, see, so now they're both sort of moving together. Uh, the other thing we'll have to do is uh, number of sides on this circle uh, will be double on like the cap area. So if this is 12, then this should be 24. So we'll do paste relative reference into 2 and there you go. Okay, so now if I just, and I'll just apply like a normal to this. I'll set it to face area and make it about 20 degrees. And so now if we merge these two together, we should get this. So, so the revolve will automatically generate UVs because that option is there in it which says compute UVs. Okay. And this one we gave it UV segment. So now the nice thing is that if I adjust this guy, see, so you can actually like, you know, close it and open it any which way you want. Let's keep it to, let's say 60 degrees. And I can take a transform and we can rotate it to minus 30. So what we'll do is we'll take this guy. I'll do right click copy parameter from the revolve come to the rotation, do paste relative reference uh, and I can do a divided by minus two. So that should give me this in the middle like that. And then I can take a math size and just set this to in Y axis, we'll set it to min. So now just to finalize this, what I can do is I can just control this revolve from like one single area. So I can just take a null here. Let's just call it uh, rotation. Or let's just call it slice. And we'll just add a parameter here. So just take a float value. I'll call it slice. And we'll set the range from 0 to 360. Let's keep this to 60 for now. And so I'll just do right click copy parameter and paste a little reference. So now this allows me to see you can make the whole thing. And we just need to increase the number of segments on this. So in the revolve, I can just set this to let's do 120. So you'll get like, you know, nice bit of segments on this. And uh, yeah, we'll also increase this. So let's make this about 60. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then we can just give it materials, right? So I can just take a material here. So cop preview material and cop and we will pick up uh, orange slice. There you go. And one more here and this will be the orange skin. So there you go. Okay, and then if I just take this value and push it down, see. So I'll just make it flat shaded for now. And there you go. So you have your orange slice. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this is how you can make like an orange texture using cops in Houdini.